come in. May the sacred flame light your path on this fine day. And may it ever shine its warmth upon you. <laughs> How many times have we said those words? And yet, they seem to take on a whole new meaning now. Each day is one day closer to my departure. Perhaps I'm more nervous than I thought I was. to make the pilgrimage. My father did the same 20 years ago. As his daughter, I cannot let him down. You really are incredible, Liana. I don't know how you do it. What? As the Archbishop's only true-born daughter, everyone always expects so much from you. And yet you never fail them. Each of your sermons is more inspiring than the last. And now, the pilgrimage. So much is placed on you alone. Don't be silly. I'm not alone. I have you, don't I? And everyone at the cathedral. Why, you're the one who helped me think of a topic for that last sermon, Ophelia. You even stayed up nights with me to draft it. A willing set of ears and a few pretty words, that's all I could offer you. I wish I could do something that would truly help you. Oh, abandon such worries and come, my sister. Father is expecting us in the chapel. <laughs> there you are, my girls. Your Excellency, may the sacred flame ever light your path. Have you need of us here, Father? I wish to see you, that is all. Do carry on with your duties. As you wish, Your Excellency. It is as if the two of you have become women grown in but the blink of an eye. How long has it been, Ophelia, since you came to us? Fifteen years, Your Excellency. Or near enough so. Fifteen years. I suppose it is little wonder that you have grown so. I was but an orphan, Your Excellency. Starving and sickly. I would not have lived to see this day if you had not taken me in. I may not have said it enough growing up, but my heart is full of gratitude for all that you have given me. No need for such words, my child. 
We all follow the path the flame illuminates for us. Come on, Feely. We're family. You, father, and I. There's no need to be so formal about it. Why should you have to thank us for being with you? That's what family's for. Of course. You're right, Liana. And besides, Father may be a great Archbishop in here, but we both know he's just an old lay about at home. Isn't that right, Father? <laughs> an old lay about? <laughs> You wound me, Liana. I know your duties at the cathedral keep you busy, Father, but honestly, you're no help at all when it comes to keeping a household running. Would it kill you to cook a meal or dust the bookshelves from time to time? Oh my. When you... Put it that way, I suppose I am quite useless after all. So even the great and beloved Archbishop falls short in the discerning eye of his daughter. So it would seem, Ophelia. <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> Father, I am ready. In the deepest recess of that cave is where you will find the first flame. You will take the ember to the churches across the realm, where it will serve to light the sacred fires that warm and protect all the lands. This is the kindling. The time-honored rite held without fail once every twenty years since the days of old. Your journey will not be an easy one. As soon as you step foot into the wilderness, you will be met with lawless villains and savage beasts. Yes, many a servant of the church has made this journey throughout our history. Some have never returned. I know you can do this, my daughter. Everyone has put their faith in you. You have my word, Father. I won't let you... I won't let anyone down. I will carry out the right, just as you did 20 years before. Very good, my child. Very good. <laughs> It's nothing to worry yourselves over. Just my years announcing their advance. Oh, you mustn't sound so gloomy, Your Excellency. There is still so much we would learn from you before we let you call yourself Archbishop Emeritus. Ophelia is right, Father. Like she always is. You should retire for the day and let your body recuperate. We can handle things from here. We will let the Pontiff know that you are resting in your chamber, sir. When my two girls insist, who is this old man to deny them? I will leave the preparations for today's service to you. We will take care of everything, Your Excellency. I'll see Father back to his chambers. Thank you, Liana. I will see to our duties here.
you come with me? Of course. Young man! Oh! Actually... Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I see. If I might. No, no. No. <gasps> it's a disaster! But how could... No, no. Forgive me. Your Excellency! Please! Please, take a moment to breathe.
forgive me, Liana, but His Excellency... What His Excellency needs most now is rest. Please try not to excite him. Of course. Forgive me. you taught me. Father? Father? Worry not, Sister Liana. He is only resting. Oh. Liana? Sister Liana, are you not well? fresh air. Liana, how are you feeling? Ophelia? makes me feel so scared, so angry that I... I feel like my heart might just burst. But if I fall to pieces now, everyone will lose hope. I must be strong. And soon, I must depart on the pilgrimage. The rite cannot be put off any longer. There are centuries of tradition we must obey. But leaving my father behind, without even knowing if I'll ever, ever see him again. Don't despair, Liana. We are together in this. We will find a way. Now then.
Really? Don't you want to go outside? Um. Hmm. Oh, I know. There's some place I just have to take you. What? Sisters, Feely. I just know it. I... I'd like that too. Liana? Then it's settled. Oh, next time, I'll teach you my favorite game. And then...
What? You see... <sighs> Father? Your Excellency. My apologies. Yes. <gasps> Your Excellency. Hmm. Yes. Yes. What? Ophelia. <sighs> Ophelia. Liana. No. Yes. I understand. At least it would seem you came through your ill-advised journey in one piece. I did, Your Excellency. And I can assume you set out with no preparation to speak of. For all your quiet dignity. I am sorry, Your Excellency. Oh, Ophelia. I only hope that this kindness of yours will not be your ruin. Your Excellency? You journeyed to the Cave of Origin so that Liana might stay here with me, did you not? <laughs> I will inform the Pontiff that there has been a change in plans, and that you will perform the kindling in Liana's stead. Speak with your sister, and learn what she has these many months. Your instruction will be abbreviated, but I know you are up to the task. Your Excellency! Your kindness brings warmth and light to all around you, Ophelia. Just as does the sacred flame. 
Your Excellency, I... Uh. Ophelia, when I first took you in, I had a dream. A dream, Your Excellency? A dream of you, bearing the flame into the world. Looking back now, I realize it was an omen of what was to come. Liana is a fine daughter, my pride and joy. She has served as a daughter of the church far better than I had any right to expect. But I know that it has not come easily to her. She has given up much of her true self to be who she must be for the church. I have not yet told Liana, but I fear that I am not much longer for this world. But Your Excellency, the healer said... I trust that I know my body better than any other. Your Excellency... Oh, Ophelia. I am so proud of you and Liana both. Promise me that you will love one another forever. Your Excellency, I... Father, please, please don't leave us. Thank you, Ophelia. And with that, I should be off. Do take care. Take care yourself. I think Father was looking a little better today, don't you? We nearly had to tie him to his bed. He so wished to be here, too. <laughs> it's good to know he's acting more like himself again. <sighs> Ophelia, I owe you an apology. Whatever for, Liana. When I first heard that you would go on the pilgrimage in my stead, to tell you the truth, I was relieved. The thought that I could stay here with Father instead of worrying about the kindling? I knew you would be putting yourself in great danger, and yet, I was so happy. Can you forgive me, Ophelia? I am the one who should apologize. I have no right to be here and, well, here I am. I know that you only wanted to help me. And knowing that you will perform the right in my stead makes me happier than anything. Thank you, Liana. And so my journey begins. To Saints Bridge, Gold Shore, and finally back to Flames Grace. Light the flames in each town. Perform the kindling as our forebears have. I will be gone for a while. But if ever you or Father need me, pray send for me at once. Thank you, Ophelia. Really do take care of yourself, okay? How Saints Bridge in the Riverlands treats me. Till we meet again, dear sister. May the sacred flame light your path. And may it ever shine its warmth upon you.
I am Ophelia. Welcome. Indeed. Thank you. <laughs> if you please. Great Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you, I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. are in your debt. No. This is all your fault, Emil! I... I... <laughs> We're gonna make you sorry! I am sorry! I am! You think that if you cry, that'll make everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. And what's going on here? Break it up now. Break it up. Emil lost Daryl's brooch. It's gone now because of him. I, I, I'm sorry, Daryl. Sorries aren't going to bring back his brooch. You know how important it was to him. Why don't you tell me what happened? <laughs> Ask Emil if you really want to know. Come on, Nate. Let's get out of here. You said it, Daryl. We'll be back for you later, Emil. If you know what's good for you, you better find that brooch. Ophelia. I am a cleric, journeying on behalf of the church. Journeying? Oh, are you here for the kindling? 
That's right. But I've already wrapped up with the rights, so... Are you gonna help me look for this brooch or what? You'd really do that? For me? I really would. So cheer up. Got it? Thank you, miss. I mean, sister. Thank you, Reverend Sister. <laughs> Ophelia is fine. Now, let's get down to it. I see. Nah. Won't you come with me? anywhere. Where could it have gone? Hmm. 
You know, Daryl, Emil told me something. He said you've been angry at everything and everyone since your mother passed. But he hoped, if he could only find your brooch, that you might be friends again. Emil said that? I lost my parents too, you know. You did? I was a little younger than you are now. I asked myself over and over, why am I the only one whose life is so miserable? My life was not all sadness and misery. I was blessed with people who loved me. At first, I had closed my heart to them in my sorrow. I didn't even try to see how much they cared. But there was someone who Stop trying to cheer me up, no matter how much of a clodpole I was. Liana was always there for me. just how much your friends care about you. Do you understand what I mean, Daryl? Uh... <laughs> it's not my fault. I didn't make Emil do anything. If he wants to search, let him. Why is everyone always blaming me? I'm not blaming you for anything. Huh? B but you just said... No one here is blaming you. Unless, maybe, you're blaming yourself? Perhaps you're feeling guilty for making your friend feel bad, hmm? I can tell you're a good kid. So why don't you be honest with Emil? But I... I'm not... Here, I'll come with you. Let's go. A 
Camille! Daryl? You idiot! But... Are you serious? There's no time. Oh, such a relief. You mustn't push yourself. Come on. But... You idiot! Oh. Meal. Such a relief. Thanks. Now then. Sorry. Sorry. No. Returned, Your Excellency. Welcome back, Sister Ophelia. And how did you find our humble town? It is a fine place, Your Excellency, with fine children who will surely lead it to a bright future. <laughs> children, you say? Yes. 
I am not sure of what you speak, but it seems you had a pleasant encounter in Saintsbridge today. Your smile beams as bright as the flame. Mighty Elfric brought fire down from the heavens and carried it to every corner of the realm. Every 20 years, one of our faithful sets off on the kindling, following in his footsteps. It is said that the ember born during the rite reflects the heart of the flame bearer who carries it. The heart of the flame bearer? Twenty years ago, when the Archbishop brought us his ember. I recall that his flame burned bright and strong, full of vigor and passion. The fire that you have brought us, Sister Ophelia, to my eyes, it looks to be a warm and gentle flame. I know not which children you met, but I have no doubt your kindness was a comfort to them as well. You are far too kind, Your Excellency. I only hope that I have helped in some small way. Hey, Emil! Did you find that brooch? I sure did. We found it in the woods. The woods? You actually went in? But there are all kinds of nasty beasts in there. You bet there were. But that sister from the church kicked the living snot out of them. It was freaking outrageous, wasn't it, Emil? It sure was. Living snot, huh? <gasps> Sister! It's true, though, isn't it? Oh, I wish I could have seen it, too. The beast? No, Sister here beating it into a bloody pulp. She really is. Oh, why do you two get to have all the fun? You better tell me all about it. <laughs> I do believe my work here is done. And with that, I should journey on to Goldshore.
So, this is Goldshore. Here, another flame wants for kindling. After that, I can return at last to Flame's Grace and cast my ember into the Great Flame. Then, my long journey will come to an end. Hmm, that man looks familiar. Master Matthias of the Leonil Consortium! What brings you to this place, good sir? Ah, Sister Ophelia! It has been far too long since I saw your lovely face. Pray forgive me for ending our first meeting so abruptly. There is nothing to forgive, sister. I heard of the Archbishop's affliction. Terrible to lose that. I hear that you are performing the kindling in Sister Liana's stead. Your journey has not been an easy one, I am sure. It is the path I have chosen. And the provisions your consortium generously prepared for my sister have served me well on the road. I thank you for all your kindness, sir. Our realm owes you a great debt. Think nothing of it, sister. We, too, are honored to serve. You have a gentle heart. The people are fortunate to have your guidance. Disease, poverty, war, natural calamities. There is no shortage of suffering in this world. And yet, I hear that recently, there are those who turn their backs on the church, shunning the light of the sacred flame. That is most saddening to hear, sir. Oh, but forgive me. I did not mean to trouble you when you have more important matters at hand. Do forget what I said, and focus yourself on the kindling. I, too, will offer a prayer for your success. You have my thanks, Master Matthias. And now I fear I have some business I must attend to. I will be in town for a while longer. Mayhap our paths will cross again. How do you do? Oh. No. May the sacred flame guide us. I'm so very sorry. In that case... No, I must... Hmm... 
Look. You are safe with me. Um. I am Ophelia. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. Now then. Yes. Yes. No. If you'll forgive me. Why? Let us begin. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's just that. No, I must... Uh... Sister Ophelia. Shall we? Oh. Hmm. Kidnapping? What villainry is this? 
I must be honest with you, Sister Ophelia. Until a short time ago, I was agonizing over whether or not I should do as the letter says. My Lysa has seen but seven summers. When I pictured her together with such evil men, crying out for me, I... I... But to give in would be to betray everything I stand for as a man of the church. The flame protects all our people. It is not mine to steal. Your Excellency. I must trust that the gods have their plans for us all. Even if it means my daughter, my dear Liza, will never again. Bishop. Is the bishop going to be all right? Yes. He is resting peacefully now. He must have been under a great deal of strain. The father's love for his daughter is a thing beyond measure. To manipulate that for evil is a sin the gods will not overlook. I will go to this cave by the sea and bring Lysa back safe and sound. But you could be killed! Maybe, but I won't stand by and do nothing either. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Okay, but please come back safe. I'm most sorry. Heartbreaking, isn't it? You'll forgive me. thought.
What? Ho-ho! Unforgivable! What ho? You're wrong. How now? Ah. Hey, hey. You are safe with me. Let us begin. Blazes. Such a relief. Thank you very much. Of course. Sister Ophelia. I will do my best. Yes. O oh, great Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. May the sacred flame shine upon you. <laughs> Sister Ophelia. Ophelia. Anna! Well, whatever are you doing here? 
Were you not staying at your father's side until he recovered? That's why I'm here, Feely. You don't mean... I've taken a room at the inn. Will you join me there so we can talk? Of course. Here. Have this. Thanks. Now tell me, what has happened? Promise me you'll stay calm, Ophelia. Father is no longer with us. I have not yet told Liana, but I fear that I am not much longer for this world. I trust that I know my body better than any other. Your Excellency. He's gone, Feely. Father is... Father... He... He... Oh, Liana. Hang in there. I'm still here with you. I'm still... here. I... Thank you, Feely. Sorry, Feely. But this is for Father's sake. You're always so kind. I know you'll understand. Anna? What? Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Feely. But I need that ember. For father. Did you bring the ember? Can you truly bring my father back? But of course! That is the power I have received from on high. What did your church do for your father before his death? Nothing but pray. They could offer you only empty words. We can offer you something more. With this ember, we can make your every wish come true. You really mean it? Come with me, back to Whispermill. No, Liana, you can't. Sorry, Feely. <gasps> oh. I'm so very sorry. No. Hmm. Hmm. If I recall...
sister Ophelia. Yes. Thank you. Liana. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh. That's right. I am most grateful. the matter is can 
not be. Ophelia? That voice... Liana? Shh! Not so loud! I'm sorry, Ophelia. I'll get you out of here. But... Liana, why? I'm sorry, Feely. I did it... for my father. He's gone. He left us forever. But the Savior promised me he can bring Father back. All I need to do is act as his Vestal. Listen to yourself, Liana. This is madness you speak. What? How could you say such a thing? Do you not even care that Father is gone? Liana... All those days we spent together, you and me and father, dining together, talking together, laughing together. We'll never know that happiness again. Don't you even care? I 
I do care. But that doesn't mean you can bring back the departed. I can't believe you, Ophelia. Are you always this cruel-hearted? Listen to me, Liana. Of course I wish His Excellency were still alive. But those who pass through the gate to the afterworld are never to return. And if you let that man use this forbidden power, there's no telling what horrors might be unleashed. I won't give up. Father is coming back. I'll see to that. When he's back, we can all be a family again, just like before. Wouldn't you like that too, Feely? I'll leave the door unlocked. Please, get away from this place before anyone finds you. And just leave the rest to me, okay? Liana! Just so. Thank you very much. Huh? Come on. That's right. Father? <laughs> What? 
That's right. But why? That's right. What? I'll not allow it! Ophelia? Why you? You can hold your own in battle, sister. I will not fall to a monster like you! And yet, it is all in vain. The ritual will not stop unless Liana gives up her heart's desire. And she will not give that up, as long as she lives. If you truly wish to stop us, then strike her down. If you have the courage to slay your dear sister! Uh, I... I'm sorry, Feely. I... Liana! Think about what you are doing! I can't... I just want to see him again. I can't think of anything else. What can I do? What can I say to get through to her? What counsel would you give me? Your Excellency. Father! That's it! Liana, don't you remember the bird? We were playing behind the chapel when we found a dead bird on the ground. Remember, Liana! Remember Father's words! Oh, poor birdie. It's... it's cold. Can't it fly anymore? Maybe it's just too cold. We should warm it by the fire. But it's not moving. At all. Do you think the birdie died? Poor birdie. What should we do, Anna? I don't know. Whatever is the matter, my girls? The little birdie died. Father, please. Can't you bring it back to life? Please. Oh dear. I see. Listen to me, my girls. Once a living creature has passed on from this world, it cannot return. That is the way that our gods made us, I'm afraid. That's so sad! Why would the gods be so cruel? It is sad, Liana. This is true. But in return, the gods gave us a gift. They gave us the joy of life. The joy of life? What's so good about life if we all just die in the end? 
All things that live must one day pass through those solemn gates. But it is because we know that our time is limited that we know to enjoy each day that we have. Didn't it make the two of you happy to meet one another? Even after we die, it does not mean we are entirely gone. We're not, but... Liana, Ophelia, close your eyes for a moment. I want you to think of that little bird. Okay. Like this? Is the bird flapping its wings? That's because the bird lives on in your heart. Is it really? But it's not really. You are both smart girls. Someday you will even understand the mysteries of death. Time softens the sharp edges of grief. And those you have lost live on in your heart. So long as you do not forget them. Someday, I too will pass through those gates. It is inevitable. But when that day comes, pray remember me, that I might live on forever in your hearts. Exactly. Ophelia... No. <laughs> Such a relief!
<laughs> yes. Indeed. Ophelia Flynn. Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. As the gods are my witness, the kindling has been done. Hmm. We thank you, Sister Ophelia. You have done our church a great service. Thank you, Your Holiness. Take as much time as you need to rest and recover before resuming your duties. You are too kind, Your Holiness. Thank you. How fair, Sister Liana. I fear she remains in her chambers. I left food, but she barely touched it. I see. It's me. I'm coming in. All right? It's such a lovely day outside. Won't you come out and see it? Liana. I'm sorry, Feely. Please, just leave me alone. She's been saying that ever since we got back, and I've given her what she wants, but not today. Liana, you're coming with me! W what Ophelia? Come on! This is... Remember when you first brought me here? I was so happy when you did. You helped me find my own feet and stand again when I thought I'd be lost forever. Ugh. Out of all the things you tried to tell me, to reach me in my despair, there was one thing you said. It was what truly saved me. Do you remember, Liana? Mm. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Feely. I don't. You said... If you frown all the time, even sweet cakes will taste sour. turn to save you. Haley. Father lives on in your heart. Can you hear what he's saying to you now? He's telling you not to give up on the joy of life. You're right, Feely. He is, isn't he? 
so snap out of it, you sourpuss. today, isn't it? More beautiful than I've ever seen it. Really? Yes? Thank you. For everything. It is my pleasure to serve, Sister Liana. Did you know that? <laughs> well, I learned from the best. Feely, we'll always have each other, won't we? Of course we will. Thank you for bringing me back to the light. I told you, didn't I? from the best. <laughs> 